just got through telling you we all get praise in heaven. Amen. Amen. I know there was somebody this morning when you got up and you looked in the mirror and you saw how good you looked and you discovered how well you feel. You just wanted to shout right there because the Lord had it. over us. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All night. Whether you were at the club or in the bed, he watched. All right. I wish I could help somebody. He watched over us all night long. long. And he didn't just sit there and idly watch. All right. But he protected. Yeah. Amen. I wish I had a witness. Amen. The reason that you are healthy today, yeah. the reason that you are alive today is because the Lord protected you. Yeah. All right. I wish I had some help here. Yeah. Do you not know somebody got robbed last night? Amen. Do you not know somebody's house got broken into All right. last night? Do you not know somebody lost their son, lost their daughter to death last night? Amen. Do you not know somebody was incarcerated just last yeah. night? Amen. Somebody was in a car accident just last night. So not only did he watch over us, but he pulled. Texted us. Somebody gonna hear what I'm saying. And that's all it's about, baby. It's about worshiping the Lord. Come Amen. on, Captain. Christianity, church service is about worshiping the Lord. All right. We could never get so caught up in the ritualistic format of the printed program that we forget that church is about worshiping the Lord Amen. together. Amen. Now, number seven, folks. We can never get so caught up in the ritualistic format of what the procession is and where the congregation song is and where the responsive reading is and where the offering is and where the pastoral prayer is and forget the church service is about worshiping the Lord Amen. together. stand up and he don't take a text. These are crazy times because preaching doesn't necessarily mean you have to take a text. Amen. 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 Had some Amen. If that was the case, the church never would have been ignited or born again. All right. Do I have a witness here? Amen. When the apostles preached, they never took a text. All right. Can I tell you that? Amen. When Jesus preached, he never took a text. I wish I had some help. All right. So how, how very briefly, I'd like to invite your attention on it, just because it's on the bulletin. <laughs> Paul's first epistle to the Corinthians. For your consideration, the first chapter, we would like for you to note the 10th through the 17th verses. First Corinthians chapter 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 1. 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 1. 1. Beginning at verse number 10 and concluding with verse 17. When we all have it, say amen. amen. Let us read it together, shall we begin? Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing. And that there be no division among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. For it hath been declared unto me of you, my brethren, by them which are of the house of Chloe, that there are contentions among you. Now this I say, that every one of you say, I am a Paul, or I of a Paul, or I of Cephas, or I of Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were ye baptized in the name of Paul? 
I thank God that I baptized none of you but Crispus and Gaius, lest any should say that I had baptized in my own name. And I baptized also the household of Stephanus. Beside, I know not whether I baptize any other. For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be made of no effect. I want to talk to you about addressing the issues of the church. All right. Addressing the issues of the church. Amen. Addressing the issues of the church. Brothers and sisters, when we left you from our discussion last week, we was talking about the blessedness of being a saint. As we concluded part three, we wanted to underscore and remind you that we are blessed. All right. Because everybody cannot be saints. Amen. In order to be a saint, you have to be called by the Lord. All right. One writer says that we are called out of darkness Amen. into his marvelous light. light. In other words, there has to be a divine action in order for us to be saints. All right. So when we accept Jesus Christ, when we join church, that is our human response to divine intervention. All right. And so what a blessing it is to be in the family of the Lord. Amen. Right, right. What a blessing it is to be in the family of the Lord. Amen. What a blessing it is to be in the family of the Lord. Yeah. We are saints. We are joint heirs of the Christ, which means that we receive the inheritance of heaven. All right. How blessed we are to be in the family of the Lord. Amen. Now everybody should have got excited Amen. about that. Amen. Because the way we cry over not having, we should really be excited. All right. To have a daddy who's rich. All right. And he has it. And then somebody says he holds the whole world. Amen. What a blessing it is to be in the family of the Lord. All right. As saints, we do not have to worry or obsess about our needs because our heavenly father Amen. Y'all not gonna talk to me. Right? Amen. That's 18 folks. Our heavenly father, he knows All right. what we need. And just as he clothed the lilies of the field, All right. just like he feeds the birds, I wish I had a wish. He will, yeah, he'll meet our need. Apostle Paul said, my God shall supply. Do I have a witness? I said, do I have a witness? My God shall supply all of your needs. Then I wanted to share with you for these few minutes, and I, I, I will not get through these uh, 17 verses, brothers and sisters, simply because they deserve more insight All right. than the 20 minutes in which I can devote to them. All right. Today I wanted to talk to you about the issues of the church because as we live and breathe in the modern day area, we always feel like the church is dealing with issues. All right. And many of us ask the question, there's something wrong with those church folks. Amen. Why do those church folk continue to act like they are? All right. They don't act like Christians. Why, why do they? Come on, help me, God. They don't act like Christians. They